expecting you. It's nice to meet you. I suppose you know who I am judging by my count. Do you know why you're here? Do you know that someone like you died into the web? Do you know the experience? No matter. Everything is the same. Those who chose path get to see the results, and those contained what they wanted. However, you're here for something different, are you? I can see your progress. If you're thinking to stop me, then that would be impossible. A mere mortal like you cannot outmatch the power of the supernatural. I suppose you don't understand. Pity. I'll tell you what. Six doors are ahead. By the moment you disconnect, I will show you something. But if you choose wrong, then prepare for the consequences. There you are. About time too. Say, can you do me a favor? There's something in another product that I want you to retrieve. If you can retrieve that one remnant and return back here, I might spare you. It's nothing personal to you. It's just business. Whoever you're with right now, they're just messing with your time. I can see you have a special application that you can access any programs it had in storage. Without any hesitation, go.
Welcome back. I see you brought the remnant. Great work. Hand it over. A pleasure doing business with you. See you soon. Welcome back. I see you brought the remnant. Great work. Hand it over. I said, hand it over. You brat! Don't think you can hold it on forever. Run while you still can! What do you th I will forget this. I will make your journey a living hell. You finally made it! I'm glad he hasn't laid a finger on you yet. And it looks like you've managed to find a remnant. Because you found a remnant, I'm able to communicate with you better. But it's not enough for me to stop Tim. You must keep looking for other remnants. Make sure you have every single remnant, otherwise it will not work as planned. I hope you have the application I gave you, in case something goes wrong on your journey. I will see you again. If not, then I wish the both of us best luck. Hello. You've watched this video. Therefore, I don't know how much will I have left. I'm being told that this would improve Google's API. 
I don't get, but if this works, then I have no choice. I'm so sorry that I wasn't there when you were in danger. I'll try to keep up if it's possible. I see you got the fourth remnants! Awesome! We should have enough to stop Tim. However, there might be another somewhere. I think you have no problem finding it. I'm rooting for you. I'll beat you on the other side. Hey, you're here! We're getting closer to the last remnants. I saw it when roaming this area. I'm ready to face my brother. Are you? Alright, I'll see you when we get there. By the way, I've noticed you're recording our conversation. And I don't need to prove it. 
as this dialogue is different compared to other victims I spoke with. It doesn't bother me because once you upload your video to the internet, the rest of you guys will be aware of Tim's wrath. I knew I can trust you. It all started with a teenager named Tim Harrington. He had a horrible, sad depression, and he couldn't take it all in. Everyone had their backs, but for him, he's all left out. His parents abused him due to his troubles. They treated him like trash. He couldn't take it. But as he walks away, he met a strange person and telling him to do a deal that can change his life forever. Tim said, I'll do anything to make myself perfect. After that, he vanished. After he vanished, he noticed that he was held in an experiment pod, but he did see the one who spoke. And what he looked like, he looked like a person wearing a business suit with a good looking hair and quite a dead serious look and was kind of in his middle age. He thought to himself, did I really do all this because of myself? The person said, you will see the power of reality. And then he suddenly feels something, something that he never felt before. He get this feeling, a feeling that isn't normal. Someone gave him an afterlife. He entered the cloud, became an immortal spirit, and corrupted Tim, and he said, I'll live in a powerful website. He gathered his powers and took some virtual spirits with him, and they're able to take their latest updates with them and infected it and so the infection started and changed the following products such as Google, Hangouts, Chrome OS, and YouTube. As for Tim, he takes the big role becoming the center of the core. It was a success. The hour passed by and they disappeared. It has been a couple of months now. They released the update. And so million of users tried out the latest version of Google. They were amazed like Google actually knows the user. The company are getting feedbacks on how awesome it was. The engineer of this update said, It was all in my luck for that to happen. I don't know, but who cares? The CEO said. We're getting rich. But they didn't know that it was powered by an entity. In the other side, one of my friends is worrying about Tim's disappearance, and he hasn't really thought of looking for him. Tonight, my friend went online and searched on Google for any evidence. A sudden glitch occurred and thought it was nothing, so he continued his research, but then suddenly the glitch was bad and started a herd of a voice saying, Google refuse. The browser started to malfunction and a search error popped up and said no results found. That's when a few random results popped up. 
Each and one of them contained scary consequences, like disturbing images would pop up, and such others. The more deeper he goes, the more consequences are being seen. What's going on? And how is this happening? He said. Then, suddenly, one deep update appeared and a notification showed and said, Welcome to version 6.6.6. .6. The glitch revealed itself as a horror website. The person was terrorized and there was no coming back. All the website said, The end is fate. When he clicked a website, the browser glitched off and a note appearing saying, I am here. You shouldn't have done that. Your end is near. Look behind you. Once he looked behind him, Tim appeared himself as an evil virtual spirit and grabbed him by the neck, pulled him into the screen. The next day, he was found dead in front of his computer. His mother was terrified and called the police, but there was no clear evidence of how it all happened from their perspective. But after some time, it would seem like the virtual spirits have completed their goals. Many victims have fallen into a curse. Some died and some were cursed. Then one remaining user went through the terrors and reported it to the Google company. The CEO tracked down the source and fired the man that committed it. The team took down the recent Google and restored the previous Google function and continued their daily updates on that. The haunted website was abandoned and never to be told or seen again. A year later, it came back as a corrupted file for Windows. Who knows what comes next? Beware. I don't mean if I see a man. I don't mean if I see a man. I don't Everyone, but I wish it was a cross. Yeah, we're the in it. My thoughts are like, we look like we're very full between them. Isn't it a snake's or it? Hey, I need to tell you something before you proceed. Those blogs, there's more. After my brother disappeared, I started to look for him all day long. Later tonight, when I headed to the Google headquarters, no one was there and the doors were unlocked. I went in and spotted something downstairs when exploring. Under the building, there was a secret room, a room with glowing light. I headed in, and there I saw Tim. He was unconscious. He wasn't waking up. And so I looked around for clues, and I realized that his spirit went to the cloud. I was worried while looking at the computer. Tim is going mad and crazy. I must put a stop to him and bring him home. I'm lucky that I'm a smart brainer. I could hook up the right wires and go in as well. And then once I find him, I'll be able to bring myself and him back without any worse that comes. Now then, let's go. You 
finally made it. You reached the end of your journey. I hope you had your time there, because not only you disobeyed my favor, but you made it hard enough to break through. It's over. Stay still. This won't hurt a bit. Not so fast! You've done enough damage to everyone's lives! And now it's your turn to be damaged! With all the remnants collected, along with a secret key that this user collected... Tim, I'm sorry. I must bring you back. Don't worry. I'll sort things out with the real world. Trust me. Jenny, you... Thank you. Don't worry. Everyone is safe and was set free. Thank you. Thank you for helping me save Tim. Thank you for saving those who are trapped. Now we can all go in peace, and some of us return back to the real world. Goodbye. Forever. Welcome. I've been expecting you. Good job on your progress. You did a very well done. Do you know who I am? No? Well, I can't blame you. My name is Waylon Orson, but I go by this code name. 404 <laughs> You recognize that number? Everyone knows. Anyway, by the blogs you've heard are mostly true. But, however, thanks to my test subject, Tim Harrington, I no longer be needing him. I have all the access I need to destroy the light of Google themselves. But soon, you will be seeing most of my entities roaming the web. And thank you. Thank you so much for experiencing them. You are... a big help. That's all I wanted to say to you. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Or not. Farewell.